Here's what I think are the major changes going on in the real estate business right now. Number one, write this down. The internet options are definitely increasing. No question about it. And because of the internet options, we tend to believe, now listen to this, we tend to believe that it's putting us out of business. I, I, was just, I was just listening to somebody the other day talk to a group of realtors, and he was saying the for sale by owner internet, the for sale by owner website, whatever you want to call it, what is that really? In my honest opinion, it's nothing more or nothing less than a large classified section of a newspaper. It doesn't mean because they're on there that they're going to sell their property. As a matter of fact, here's what happens with the options. You know, these new ideas come out and the pendulum swings to the far left. And then it kind of settles in. And maybe it's a little bit to the left. Maybe buyers and sellers have a little more. Maybe they can do a little bit of their own CMA. But how many sellers out there can honestly, can honestly do their own accurate market analysis? Give me a percentage on the count of three. One, two, three. Zero, okay, that's closer, closer to zero than 100%, no question. But the options are, are there for them. And so as a result, they get a little cocky and this and... Number two, let me just touch on these. Closer relationships are a big part of this business coming into the very near future. See, when I take number one, I say, okay, all these internet changes and options going on out there, that's not going to put you out of business because shopping is shopping. I mean, it, the, the pendulum centering back a little bit to the left of center. But realtors are just as much in demand today as they ever were. It's just you've got an easier way to find Fizbo's. You don't have to buy a newspaper. Give me an amen on that. Yeah. Closer relationships. Why? Well, how many would guess that there's a lot of realtors out there that are eh, basically confused. <laughs> I mean, what do I use? What do I go? I, I mean, I, one of the questions, one of the points that came up, the major changes, is all this technology change going on over every single day, new technology change, and agents are confused. Well, let me ask you a question. If agents are confused concerning real estate technology, what are the buyers and sellers? Help me out. They got to really be confused. And that's the truth. The National Association of Realtors study that was done by Arthur D. Little Company came out and said simply that in the future real estate agents need close personal relationships with their prospects. Listen to that. I watched the study. Close personal relationships with their prospects. Well, we've always thought close personal relationships with our clients, for crying out loud. There's client referral, client follow-up, client programs, VI pre -program. There's a million different client programs. But when have we ever really thought about close personal relationships with our prospects? It's a new thing. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't fall off your chair. One of the things I like best about what... what um, 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 Prospects Plus talked about... Yesterday, how many were in the seminar with Jim Morton? One of the things I like best is his target market concept. You know, the mail outs and emails to the FISBOs, to the expireds, to just listed, just sold. What, are the, what is the power of those? What's becoming obsolete, I'm absolutely convinced, is don't fall off your chair. What's becoming obsolete are the newer agents coming into business thinking they should farm. That is a mistake. Because it takes too long to get the close personal relationships with a large number of people. And when I say farm, I'm talking about geographic farming. Hmm. I think that's a major change. Here's what's coming back. The old pendulum. It swung far to the left. Do your own thing. Independence. Everybody was this individualist. And what's happening in the industry now? Camaraderie, teamwork, rah, rah. 
You know, Michelle, in your office, Remax, and what town are you in in New Jersey? Addison. Addison. I've been fortunate enough to work with Michelle Rizzo um, as her partner. That's what we call coaches, but partner. What an awesome lady. I, I don't mean to embarrass you, but when you said to me, you got all your agents together and you had a, a world's record month for yourself, and we talked about what did you do, and you said, well, we all got together, we meet every day, and we read uh, uh, the greatest salesman in the world. We read one scroll three times a day, and we do it together. This camaraderie, it isn't an accident that you had a world's record month for your office. It's not an accident. It's because this concept of togetherness, it's back, Jack. And it's back, I believe, with a passion. I really, truly do. Why, I wonder? Can I just tell you why? We're confused. I mean, don't, you, don't you see agents out there that kind of beat up? Help me out. I mean, you know, I mean, it's like cell phones are ringing and the emails are coming and the faxes and all this other stuff. And I just, I need somebody, man. I need somebody. I don't want to be, hey, realtor, I'm going to be one of a realtor team. That's what I want. I'm telling you, because I can't handle it all by myself. <laughs> I mean, know what I'm talking about. It's here. It's here. And if you do anything, you say, what am I really talking about here? You think I'm, you think I'm just giving this stuff because I want you to tell you, I, I, I want to tell you this, what I'm seeing out there. No, you're going to hit that goal. You're going to hit that goal. And if you're going to hit that goal, you've got to understand what I'm saying to here about these simple little things come together as a team. Togetherness is back. Big time. And I'm going to bring it back. Big time. I'm going to bring back those mentor groups and the concepts. And okay. okay, the pendulum. Now, you know what I mean by pendulum. Something new comes out and the pendulum goes whoosh. Everybody says, oh my God, everything's different. And then as time goes by, it settles but never back to the center. That's the sad part. It centers to the left of the center. Uh, well, what's happened is, I remember way back when, when the multi-list came out. I'm, I'm this uh, far back ago. And everybody's thinking, oh my God, we're never going to sell our own listings anymore. And then it settled. Buy your agent say, holy cow, we're not going to be able to represent sellers anymore. And then it settled. Little to the left of center. Oh my God, we're not going to be able to get commissions anymore. It's settling back to the center. Never back exactly where it was. You see, the market has a tendency to go up and down and up and down and up and down. And when it's hot, you know, next time we have a hot, hot, hot market in this whole industry, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to open a company. Two dollars and I'll teach you how to sell your own house. Well, how do you sell your own house when the market's hot, 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 hot? You put up a sign. I'll even sell you the sign. <laughs> Number five, five, five. Buyers are looking at more properties than ever before. No question there. Because they got so darn much stuff to look at. We used to be able to say, even in my old training, you know, pick three properties, show them, oh my God, that doesn't, that doesn't work anymore. They want to see how many, roughly? All of them, yeah. 